I'm not sure I would like to say what <laughs> pharmacology is like. I, having, having been a pharmacologist for getting on for 50 years and seen changes, they've been considerable, uh, I think, but I can still see what I'm doing now in, in what I was doing in the early days. I'm doing things with new techniques, with, with new approaches, and obviously with much more knowledge, but all the work that's coming on with, with genetics and with molecular biology, I find make it very difficult to, 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 dis, to discern what directions it might go in. I've just come from the latest British Pharmacological Society meeting where we've seen our membership uh, approach 4,000. We have a lot of young people. Uh, it suggests to me that uh, pharmacology is going to have a big place in, in UK science uh, for a long time to come. Partly because I think now we are trying to make sure we interact with other societies as much as possible. We're holding more joint meetings with the British Association for Psychopharmacology that I've also been much involved with, uh, with the Physiological Society, with the American Society. So uh, by, well I think going back to, to John Gadam's comment that uh, the pharmacologist is a jack of all trade and a master of none, uh, you know, we're following his ideas from 40, 50 years ago and uh, providing a pharmacological approach to everyone's science and uh, that has to be good. <laughs>